Hello guys and gals, if it's everyone back with you and welcome to another Forza Horizon 4 guide. This time we are going to be talking about the Forza Thon Live achievement. Now there are three achievements related to the Forza Thon Live, which is take part in your first Forza Thon Live event, get around three of the Forza Thon Live event, and compete in 20 Forza Thon Live events, completing at least one round each. In previous Forza Horizon games, namely just the first and second, they could have made this as difficult as possible but this one it is really easy so all you have to do on the hour every hour if you are connected to horizon life playing with other players like i said every hour you will see this the forzathon live symbol so you'll have to drive up to it like i said if you do miss it by the start you won't be able to take part and that'll be that so you'll have to wait for another hour so drive up to it there you go just Sort of chill out for five minutes, chill out for however long it takes to get there, and then we just wait patiently. You know, obviously, the more people there are, the absolute easiest it is to do it, but even with about five or six people, it's still pretty simple as well. So, basically, the name of the game is everyone's in a group, you've got three specific events which can be speed traps, drift zones, skill scores. As a group, you've just got to get to the maximum number of points available which you will see me doing in just a moment okay so here we go again then and you will see so again first round it's always usually a speed zone so here we go straight away so like I said it doesn't matter how bad or good you do in this one as long as all the groups pull in their weight together it is absolutely fine and also you can rewind it as well if you do mess up like I just did there like I said it's lucky it's a group thing really because uh, Mine is not going too spectacularly at the minute. So as you see there, on the bottom then, 272 and it's, it's absolutely flying up, even though I still yet to put absolutely any effort in, which is, which is quite bad on my part there actually, but that is a tricky speed zone. Well, barely, that was a pretty woeful attempt there, but there you go, it just keeps adding up, keeps adding up, so that is quite easy there. There you go, straight away, as soon as it's hit, you will get the round one complete sign, so now it is time for round two, which is the drift zone. And they're always usually pretty uh, pretty close by, as I just do a spectacular crash there. Good God, it's like I can't do two things at once. Talk and drive. Which reminds me, don't don't drink and drive. So here we are then. Now you'll probably again find this easier. Personally, I absolutely suck at drift zones. I'm not the greatest at drift zones at all. But again, it does exactly what it says in the tin to drift your way through life. And the points will add up quite quickly. Like I said, if there's 10 to 20 of you, this will be absolutely no problem, but you can get it easily with four, five, six people anyway. So there we go, round two complete. One more to go then, get to the speed trap. Now I prefer these speed traps, if I've got to be honest. Especially in a car, if you can get a really fast car, these are so much fun. Even when you crash, it's still pretty spectacularly fun as well. Of course, you notice the timer there in the top left corner. You only get 15 minutes for three rounds, which doesn't sound like a lot of time, but it's absolutely simple. As I've said. And here we go then, straight off, and my first attempt was 140 miles per hour. So try and get a good distance. Well, you know how speed traps work, so it's easy enough. But like I said, everyone's pulling the weight on this one so it's easy enough and again of course the best thing is whatever you do you won't be able to hit any other car and that would have been carnage but I tell you what i love this i absolutely love this game and i love this forza thon live event it's it's absolute carnage when there's an absolute hell of a mountain view but it is absolutely so much fun and it is just not as grindy as forza horizon 2 was those achievements actually disgusted me intensely i did it but doesn't mean I didn't hate them, but I'm glad that Playground Games and Microsoft have gone, you know what, let's make this game a little more fun, and all the online achievements are absolutely awesome. The Ranked Team Adventures, 
even the co-op even the co-op races you can do with a friend are just so much fun as well i tell you what they actually picked three quite difficult locations there but here we go all done and for every three rounds you do you win 30 photothon live points absolutely brilliant so much fun really easy to do so as soon as you do your first one you'll knock off two achievements and all you got to do then is 19 more after that completing at least one round each and that is that guys so thanks very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one